Last week my fian K told me that his old friend Casey reached out to him to see how he was doing. It made me instantly anxious, but I'm definitely an overthinker, so I didn't mention it to him. Yesterday I was in our room and I overheard him in the kitchen talking to someone on the phone. He say some basic catching up things. It was pretty obvious it was Casey on the phone. I walk past him and go outside to clean something up, then come back in as he's saying bye to her. As I come inside, I'm fully expecting him to tell me Casey just called. Instead he looks at me, smiles, and goes, that was Bill on the phone. He's fighting with his wife. I just stood there. It was obvious he just lied to my face. For the first time ever, I ask to see his call history, and he shows me. The call was from a random number. So I ask. Why isn't Bill's name saved in your phone? He says it's Bill's new number. Okay, I say, then show me your recent texts with Bill. He says the recent texts are from Bill's old phone. Then, I say, show me the texts between you and Casey when I say that. He instantly gets quiet and shuts down. The numbers match. I ask him to show me their text messages and he hesitates, but hands the phone over. The whole text thread is her teasing him and asking him to come hang out, and he's avoiding it. They keep texting. He mentions he's engaged, and she thinks it's funny. I'm freaking out that he lied to me, and I cry, and he assures me she's just a close friend, and says he doesn't know why he lied, and it was on impulse, and he's sorry. I was extremely hurt and angry. Today I looked her up on Facebook. She's not even a friend, she's his ex. Him and I are about to move into a house together. Is this something that can be worked through, or am I better off leaving update? I wanted to see if there was any hope I could trust him. I had a plan to request complete honesty from him and ask him if the girl is his ex, knowing she is, and see if he'd be honest. So he came home from work. I sat him down and asked for total honesty, no judgment. I asked him if he had met up with her. He said no. I asked if the girl was ever more than just a friend. He said no. I asked him if he needed to rethink his response. He goes no, we are just friends. You're acting like you know something. I'm thinking I'm in shock he's still lying. I carefully push a little more and he relents and says she was a fling. He still will not tell me the full truth. Finally, agonizingly, he admits him and her dated. According to him, it was for a few months years ago, and he broke it off with her. No, I think the house needs to be put on hold, if at all possible. He didn't just lie about the call. He lied about an entire exchange that likely would still be continuing, had you not confronted him. He also lied about who Casey was in the very beginning. I don't know if he was ever going to actually cheat, but a part of him certainly enjoyed entertaining the option. And until he's willing to own up to that, then there's definitely no hope here. I'm so sorry this happened to you, and the timing is awful. But this is really inexcusable. He carried on an emotional affair. He lied about it. When caught, he lied about who she was. He lied to your face. He only stopped seeing his ex, if he has, because he was caught. Ponder these facts, and do the only smart thing. So a close friend reaches out, and he immediately lies about talking to her. Not just one lie, but he's easily coming up with lies to cover up the lie about Bill really easily. Then he lies again saying she's only a friend when she's actually his ex that he's entertaining and lying to you about. I think you should put the house on a complete hold. You just found out he has absolutely no problem lying to your face about him talking to his ex and coming up with lies to cover for that lie. Did he at least tell you he'd stop talking to her? Yeah, he blocked her, but at this point I'm doubting he'll keep her blocked. The fact that he entertained her texts and even answered the phone makes me feel sick. I can't wrap my head around why he would do this when we are getting a house and about to be married. I've asked him before if he has cold feet about either, and he's adamant he doesn't. I would put a hold on the house and wedding planning. It's better to lose out on some money now than to be trapped in an unhappy relationship. Maybe he is having doubts about the big commitments he is making, buying a house and marriage. It sounds like he needs to work through that, and you're under no obligation to wait for him to figure it out. At the very least, you should ask for couples therapy before proceeding with anything. He has betrayed you, don't let him continue to do so. He didn't just lie about who he was on the phone with. 
he made up an entire lie about Bill fighting with his wife. He lied about Bill getting a new phone number. He lied about the text messages being from Bill's old phone. He lied about Casey being an ex-girlfriend. And let's not forget that Casey wasn't saved under a number in his phone. He told you six lies about this one person. There was something about this woman that made him willingly lie to his fiancé came multiple times about his contact with her. Every one of these is enough to completely ruin the trust in a relationship. I imagine the cheating asshole trying to keep his calm while inventing a lie after another lie. Hold up the moving. Yay, no. Postpone home purchase and definitely don't marry this man. This may be a blessing in disguise. He lied multiple times. She's texting him, flirting. He's not shutting it down. He's lying about phone calls and he wants to hang out with her and she's an ex you didn't know about many many. If this was only a friendship, none of this would have happened. Your fiancé is not the one girl, you know what to do. They didn't buy a home, they're moving into one. Cheating is a choice, not a mistake. I don't consider talking to an ex bad on its own, but he tried to hide that fact from you and lied about their contact, which is not at all okay. Have you already signed the paperwork and are you both on the loan? I don't know if you can work through this. Is he willing to cut her off and go to therapy with you? We are both on the loan. I think we've signed most of the paperwork. I'm not sure if I could be taken off at this point. Thank god you are not married to him. You said in a comment that you knew about his exes, but not this one. Honey, he lied to you saying that he was talking to his friend and the girl think it's funny he's engaged, she clearly wouldn't care to f you asterisk k him if she had the chance and I don't think your fiancé would care much about it either. You shouldn't buy a house together and definitely shouldn't marry. The fact that you didn't know about her is the biggest red flag in this situation. Don't make a mistake by marrying this man. You are young and deserves better than this. I know why he lied, so does any man that has ever kept a woman secret like your bf has because he's got feelings or is keeping her on the side for a reason. The fact that this is his ex and he wasn't forthcoming about it should tell you everything you need to know. Your bf knows he fucked up and is panicking to cover himself. Personally, it hold off on the move and would proceed very cautiously, if at all. Maybe hire a pie. Yeah it's pretty bad that he referred to an ex as an old friend and then repeatedly lied about their communications. Do not move in with someone whose immediate impulse is to lie to you. Do not move in he wants to cheat, don't waste any more of your time. He's not sorry he lied, he's sorry he's not even a good liar because he immediately got caught. I just don't understand this kind of stuff. Do people make major life moves slash decisions with someone they are just kind of into? I'm talking about the BF here, not Opus. Once my wife and I reached the stage in dating where I had fallen in love with her, I had zero interest in reconnecting with an ex or anyone new on any level. 12 years later I'm still the same way. If I hadn't been completely sure this was the person I wanted to spend my life with, I would never have married her or bought a house with her. Breaking up with someone you share a dollar sign 250-500k debt with can be messy f. All kinds of red flags, opus. Last thing you want is this s asterisk 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 happening again down the road when a kid or two are part of the equation. Damn he ruined all his future plans for what a quick nut with the ex. They're bound to meet up eventually, especially when you're not around. It sucks cause I know he's gonna run block her right when s asterisk 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 settles down and you'll be focused on other things like a wedding and the new house to notice. Have you closed on the house? If not, stop the process right now. You can cancel at any time during the process. You would lose your earnest money deposit, but that's it. Don't move in together. He's a liar. Maybe take some time apart. No. He lied twice. No reason to lie, if it was innocent. Don't get more over your head with this. Tell him to go meet up with Casey, because there is no more moving in, and there's no more you as a couple. He may not have had a physical affair, yet but he was laying the groundwork for it. He lied. Take that however you want to, but you have to ask yourself one question. What else has he lied about? I agree. 
Op says this is his first he's lied, but I'd guess this was just the first he's been caught lying. Stomp on the brakes. I wouldn't move in with this liar. L-E-A-V-E. Happy cake day. This man constantly lied to your face. Hold off on the house. You'll need to work through this. Seen the update dick. If it's worth continuing the relationship, he continued to lie after you asked for honesty. That is a string of lies. Wow. First, it was Bill, not Cassie. Second, Bill and his wife are fighting. Third, it was Bill's new phone. Fourth, his text history is under Bill's old phone. Fifth, Cassie is just a friend, not an ex. He flirted with her and repeatedly lied. He did this consciously and intentionally. I would be done. Cassie deserves the mess. Let her have him. FKN Bill man. Here's a rotten old man. So many red flags here. First, dude hid who she was to him, lied to you multiple times, allowed her to flirt and attempt to get him to come over. I'd kicked him out, nuke the secret have him tell his family and yours, separate for 30 days, have him call her with you there telling her to not contact him again. I mean me personally, I'd just leave him, hair shady and that's wrong. Definitely not, he lied to you about our relationship, who he was talking to ECT, he was having an emotional affair with her, and was about to get physical. He lied to you, because he wanted to continue it. I'd end the whole relationships, just for the fact he lied to you about who she is. If you're hiding conversations, and lying, then you don't have to worry about if you're going to cheat, because you're basically already there.